Rock on. <laughs> Welcome to Outdoor Quest TV. So what do you think of that buck, Vanessa? Oh, pretty good buck. Sweet, huh? Yeah. I told you we'd see some good deer up here. You did. <laughs> hey, welcome to Outdoor Quest Television. I'm TJ Schwanke. Today I'm hunting with a good friend of mine, Vanessa Harrop, and this is your first season ever with the trophy mule deer tag. Yes. So, this is actually only your second season hunting, so. <laughs> <laughs> but we've drawn a, Vanessa's drawn a permit up here in the Peace region of Alberta. And one of the most phenomenal areas in the province for big mule deer, and fast becoming one of the most phenomenal areas in the world for big mule deer. So, we're hoping to get a big one. And that deer out there is probably as good as you're gonna see up here. It's unfortunately, season doesn't open until tomorrow. We're not disturbing him here at all, and I don't think we'll get any closer. And I think we'll come back here in the morning and hope everything works out. Get up bright and early, beat everybody else out. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might be a good thing we got this Argo the way these roads are looking. Oh, it's so slippery. Yeah. It's amazing. It is. Anyways, let's get out of here. We'll go check a couple more fields and head back to camp and hopefully the boys got supper on. Well, let's hope. All right. <laughs> While we found a buck the following morning, we were unable to put a successful stock on him before he melted back into the woods. We elected to spend the afternoon checking out some other hot spots. And while we did see some good bucks, Nothing came close to the monster we had seen that morning. So, late in the afternoon, we jumped in the Argo and headed back to the secluded oat field for a second try at the big buck. Just careful when you get up here. Just don't want to let him see you. It should still be a fair ways away, but... See him out there? Looks like he's moved out in the field a little bit. See him out there? It's been tough to get to, you know. A lot of open ground between here and there. Four hundred and forty-five and a half yards. Yeah, no. No, that's good though. I'm glad we came up in a good spot here. Sneak down the trail. I think so. Maybe what we'll do is like, if you go ahead a little bit and just keep watching back for me. If I tell you down, you go down, and then you watch and I'll come up and we'll kind of do that. And I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get any closer than about two hundred fifty yards. So okay. it's, a, it's a long shot, I know, but I think with the bipod and. He's been shooting that gun well, so... Okay. So I think we just get out on the edge here and go. That's pretty good, Vanessa. Let's get down here. Wow, it took a long time, but we made it. So let me take a rangefinder reading here.
287 yards. Can you do it? Okay, just settle in behind that scope and just feel it out. See, make sure everything feels good. If we need to move or anything else, but just we've got lots of time, so just take a look and see how it feels. How does that feel? Good? Well, once he gives you the perfect broadside, you're gonna have to make your own decision when to pull the trigger, but, okay? Okay. Okay, Vanessa, anytime you're ready. Wait for him to get broadside. That was awesome. <laughs> Heck of a shot, girl. 285 yards. Awesome. What you did. Whoa. I struggled a little bit. It was a perfect shot you made. I told you to hit him in the front shoulder. There's uh, a nasty, nasty coolie over here. And I mean, with a long shot of deer this size, could have easily ran, you know, a few hundred yards and we'd have been in big trouble. But that is a heck of a buck. Well, and the thing is, is we couldn't get any closer in just because of the wind was right behind us. Oh, everything was wrong. And if we if we got any closer, he was going to catch wind of us and that was it. Look at this though. Check this out. He's a basic 4x4 four four frame, but he's got uh, yeah, this little kicker point here, which we knew. That's how we knew this buck, right? Yep. We've, seen, we've been watching this buck for two days now, and uh, we knew he had good brow tines. He's looked like he's broke this one off, actually. Yeah. But still, um, look at the front fork depth on him, though. Oh, it's just, look at that. Unreal. Wow. That, that is a beautiful buck. And as sad as it is, I want to tell everyone right now, this is your first mule deer buck. Yes. I know people who have hunted a lifetime and never shot a buck this good. Really? You know what? I'm going to go get the Argo. Okay. And um, we'll bring it out here. It's been really rainy. It's been so dry up here all, all fall. And then just before we show up, they get about three or four inches of rain. So it's, it's been pretty wet out here. So we're just going to run the Argo in, pick this big boy up, get him out of here. It's uh, about 10 minutes till dark, so <laughs> we got lots of time. But I'm going to leave you here. Okay. And uh, you can just admire and keep smiling. <laughs> hey, congratulations. That Thank was you. awesome. Awesome. Ah. <laughs> well, look at that. Anyways, I got to get out of here. Okay. We can admire him back at camp. Visit us online at theoutdoorquest.com.